All right, it's time for those trending topics right now, and we're joined by Joe Militer, who's got all the info for us. Hey, Joe, how you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Good, good. We're talking bridges. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we got a few uh, Facebook posts that went up on our Facebook page, Fox Two Now, if you don't know about it, um, that got a lot of likes. I want to tell you about them. They're about uh, some St. Louis area landmarks. Okay. One of them being the Chain of Rocks Bridge, uh, in North in North St. Louis, uh, the the old Route 66 uh, uh, route. Um, basically, it's got a 30-degree turn in the bridge, and it was originally uh, designed to go straight across, and sure. there's a reason for the, the turn. Give it to and, me. And so the reason is um, a, lot of, a lot of fishermen and other people along the river got really concerned with this little, it's, um, it was very, it's very close to the water intake towers, you know, those little castles on the Mississippi? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I love them. Um, <laughs> well, they were a little concerned that, uh, that barges wouldn't be able to navigate the bridge and the castles together. Uh, that they might hit those things, but which is odd because that is a not very good. Now you can't really navigate that route on a with a barge. You can't because, do it at all. No, you can't because you got to go around on the on a canal. But so that old bridge has that turn in it, and um, and you know it was it was good until um, until 1967 when it was replaced. And, and then for about 10 years, it sat there, and um, they didn't really have the money to take it down. And it, then it was used in Escape from New York, and so on and so forth, and now it's a landmark. It's so a landmark. It's a great little landmark. I love it. With, I, a, with the 30-degree turn. I suggest walking on it when it's not so cold. A date, it's um, call, or and, biking. Yeah. Whoa. Um, so uh, we got another one. Yeah. Uh, we, our article says, what is the world's largest ketchup bottle in Collinsville filled with? I'm going to say it used to be water. You'd be right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not ketchup. So you've been there a few times, though. I have been to the, I've been to the largest kept ketchup bottle. It is quite the, uh, it, it's quite the sight. Yeah. The, it's 170 uh, feet tall. It sits on 100-foot legs. It, 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 you know, you can't miss it from the road. Um, it, yeah, people, it, it, it was originally designed by the ketchup company and for, as a $100,000 or 100,000 gallon uh, water tower, but never filled with ketchup, contrary to some beliefs. Um, they, they do have a festival every year, though, yeah. which is really cool. I highly recommend going that too. Um, and then uh, there was then there's one from northern Missouri. We got trump uh, trumpeter swans. They're coming back to the area. They had a oh. record-breaking amount of uh, land. Four thousand of them landed. Four thousand two hundred of them landed at the Lowe's Bluffs and wow. a national wildlife refuge. That's a lot of swans. It sure is. And one of the things about the swan is uh, one of the heaviest flying birds in North America, and it was once on the uh, brink of extinction in the lower 48. And now we're seeing them come back. Now they're coming back, and uh, conservationists in Missouri hope that they start um, nesting here and making Missouri their home once again. That's something to trumpet about. It sure is. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Joe. Thanks, Tim. Hey, keep it here. We got a little more coming your way. It's the 9 a.m. Stay with us. <laughs>